How could I be there? I'm alive. It's all right there in front of you. Think about it. Sense it. What you feel for your family it goes deep, very deep. It was your soul that stayed with them. You're holding on to two places at once. You won't let them go. That's why the shadow world can touch you. That's why your body is dying. There's got to be something that we can do. When? If there's anything that we can do to help him, we have to try. Hundreds of years ago, they learned that many forms of sickness and death were caused by the Asura guy. And demons that entered your body and possessed you. In those days, they would send the sick people off to live by themselves in these villages so the Asura guy couldn't hurt others. As is often the case, the separation or wall between us and the shadow world is thin in places where there's been intense suffering. This is why the Ma Pi made a kind of sacred barrier that keeps the worlds apart. It's sealed from this side but the seal can be broken. So it's, uh, it's a way through to the shadow world. It is a way to go over, rejoin yourself, and come back. But it's dangerous, especially for you, Jeff. The Asura guy collect in places where the divide is thin, hoping to somehow escape. The temple will keep them from us, but they'll be able to get through to you, just like the ghosts that touched you, only worse. What do we do to open the gate? The ritual can be explained, but Jeff can't do it all by himself. Someone has to hold the pathway open from this side long enough for Jeff to get back. That'll be you, Troy. It's the 48th day. 48th day? What, what, what does that mean? Seven days times seven weeks is how long a spirit stays on Earth before its faith is sealed. So I, uh, I only have until tomorrow. Your body will be gone. Your soul will be trapped with your family in the shadow world. Need to get going. 